Welcome back. Let's talk electric crimper safety. Electric crimper. <clears throat> this is the one we use. It's Klein. This one takes DeWalt batteries. Real handy. So we've got the teeth in there right now. And I'll show you these. These jaws or teeth or crimps, I'm not sure what they call them exactly. These are set up to do crimps for 12 and a half gauge wire. So Nice thing about this crimper, again, it takes a DeWalt battery, which we've got too many to count. It's got the swivel head, so you can get it set up uh, set up uh, on the wire exactly how you want it. She is heavy. I'll give her that. But this beats lugging these manual crimpers around and having to do this number all day long. So they also have a much wider jaw than the manual crimpers, which means we can get a crimp done in two cycles very nice a couple safety notes on this these jaws do not care if your fingers in there they don't know the difference between your finger your buddy's finger or a crimp we always want to be cognizant of that and keep our fingers away from these jaws a safe place to be is on the outside so as you're holding the crimp with wire being on the outside of the jaw uh, or being on this pivot point on the on the silver here. We want to be aware of that because it will hurt. I can guarantee that. So the way this works, I've got a little safety just like a drill. Black is your trigger. This gray one is your release. So they're spring loaded. As you can see, the nice thing is once you get a crimp fully done, you can just open it a wee little bit, slide her over, finish that crimp up. So let's do a quick demonstration on some high tensile on a twitch wire, so you guys can see how this works. We've got a stay tough crimp here, and uh, two little scraps of high tensile just to, just for this demonstration. <clears throat> but you can see, real loose on there. So it's important when crimping, you want to squeeze it on this profile, not this way. You want to be squeezing those two wires together. I'll show you what that looks like right here. So we're going to put it on our jaws. You can see we're going across it there. So let's get this crimped. that's it you got a nice uniform crimp all the way around no high spots no low spots we didn't tear or blow out anywhere which is kind of common with the manual crimpers so just like that those two wires are joined together and ready to go we'll use crimps for connecting high tensile wires together um, sometimes for terminating high tensile and for building our twitch wires for traditional H braces. So that's how we use the electric crimper. Again, I cannot stress enough to keep your fingers away from the jaws. That's an accident we don't wanna have. Again, super handy and beats the manual crimper all day long. Thanks for watching. I hope you gained some knowledge and we'll catch you on the next one.